Ooh, I hope this camera is okay. I am using a camera that I bought a long time ago and then I had so many issues with it. But I was watching Laura Lee. Oh, I forgot to say hello. Hello. My brain is all over the place today. Um, I'll get into that in just a second. I have a lot to talk about in this vlog, but one thing at a time. I probably should have written out my thinking points, but I was watching Laura Lee's video and I saw that she was using this camera and the quality was impeccable. So I was like, let me whip this little thing out. This is the last straw. If it fails me again, I will not be using it ever again. Today I want to talk about my hair, some new beauty treatments I'm doing. I got this box in two weeks ago and it's been sitting here and I wanted to unbox it on camera but I've been so busy so I'm so happy I saved it to open on camera because I'm not in a good mood and I'll tell you why in a little bit. It has to do with my house so this is also a house update. I want to say that this is maybe a little bit of a life update. I just feel like talking with you guys and whenever I talk with you guys I feel better so Let's get into it. I um, plan this trip to Toronto with my sister and our friend Nikki. I think we started planning it because I wanted to go do my hair with this guy named Aaron. He is the sweetest guy ever. He does Bellamy tape and extensions and he also does like the nicest color. I'm very picky when it comes to my hair. I got a lot of questions as to why I'm no longer seeing the old person who used to do my hair. And there's just a lot of reasons. like. Some reasons I, I just don't really feel comfortable talking about on camera. I don't really think it's fair to talk about it on camera, but some things did happen and I just, my ice machine is going to be the death of me. In my life, okay, recently, especially, I'm trying to be very positive and I'm trying to just incorporate like a lot of positivity and if someone does not bring positivity in my life and doesn't make me feel happy or good, I don't want them in my life, if that makes sense. Yeah, just some stuff happened. Honestly, that's all I'm going to say on that. Other than that, in Toronto, all I did was eat and eat and eat. I swear, I was like a little piggy in Toronto, but the food there was so good. It's my birthday, August 29th. It's on Sunday, and thank goodness, because starting September 1st, you're not allowed to go to restaurants or gyms or like anywhere really if you're not um, vaccinated. I am vaccinated, but some of my friends are not vaccinated. I'm not gonna sit here and try to convince you to get vaccinated. Like it's your life, do whatever you want to your body. For my birthday, we're going for dinner and my friends can come. And it's literally the last few days that we they will be able to come. So it worked out perfectly. Not gonna lie, I'm happy that things are back to normal. But like I did not miss the FOMO I had when I would be like at home and people were out at restaurants and like with friends. Like that was so real and I truly did not miss it at all. Before I get onto my house update and my little home decor update, I wanted to thank FabFitFun for sponsoring today's video. I've worked with FabFitFun a few times on my channel before and I am so excited to dig into this box. Oh, it's a really big box. I love FabFitFun because it is like a little present to yourself. You guys don't know what you probably do. FabFitFun is a seasonal subscription box where you get up to $300 of stuff for $49.99, but if you use my code TONY10, you can get it for $39.99. Can you see my address? <laughs> uh, you can get it for $39.99. There's different membership options you can get with FabFitFun. If you're an annual member, you can customize every single product in your box. If you are a current or a new seasonal member, you can customize up to four things in your FabFitFun box, or if you would prefer to be surprised, FabFitFun can pick everything for you. I love that this box is customizable because you get to kind of pick because you get to kind of pick what would work best for you and your lifestyle. You guys know me. I'm always trying to shop a sale. I'm always trying to shop a deal. I'm always trying to be bougie on a budget. And in your box, you will literally get products that are worth more than the cost that you paid for the entire box. I did pick the stuff that was in here, but I picked it a while ago. So it's like a little present. It is so cute for fall. I had my first pumpkin spice latte today. Honestly, it wasn't very good. I don't think the person who made it did a very good job, but I will try again tomorrow. Fall is my absolute favorite season, like the smells, the feels. So this is what the box looks like. Um, like a little present for myself. Oh, I'm so excited. So this is what it looks like as soon as you 
open it. First thing I have to get my hands on is this right here. It is the Moroccan Spice Candle. This is a soy blend candle. Oh, it's from our house. I already smell it. What is the scent on this? This smells divine. Moroccan Spice Candle. I have a candle obsession. I wish you guys can smell this through the screen. I'm burning this right away. It smells like a cinnamon, vanilla, spicy. Absolutely perfect for fall. You know what it smells like? Like a cinnamon donut. Oh, cute. It's like this little tray. So it's this little tray. It has like felt inside and they kind of all go like that. Okay, the next thing I got is from Stojo, I believe. Collapsible cup with four reusable straws. That is so cool. It's a collapsible cup and you get some straws. How many times do you like bring a smoothie or a coffee to work and then you have nowhere to put your cup so you can just close it up, squish it down and then stick it in your bag. That is so smart. What is this? Food, drink, trivia, like a game. I'm so gonna bring this to my sisters. Let's test your knowledge. Approximately how many turkeys are consumed each year during Thanksgiving? One, 20, or 46 million? 46 million, that is terrifying. I did not want to know that. Oh my God. Cora's Renewing Body Cleanser in Santorini Grape. I did not go on vacation this year, but hopefully this will remind me of the Greek islands. Oh, that smells really good. That's like fresh and lemony. I really like that. A reusable lunch pack that like gets so small. I did not even know that existed. I also love that you like find brands that you literally never even knew. Oh, Island of Holly bath gel in peach. Oh my God, I'm a peach girl. I don't know why I'm getting more of like a coconut. Okay, and then this is what I'm the most excited about. I know I'm officially growing up when I'm the most excited about a frying pan. So you, I got to pick from this. I think there was like um, a pot, but I was like, I need a new frying pan. All my frying pans are like so old and ruined. I'm gonna use this to cook tonight. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna make for dinner. It's been like the thing I've been obsessed with. Look at that. It is Phantom Chef. Nice and non-stick. I don't have a good nonstick pan either, so I'm super excited about that. I have a nice little mess to clean up here. All right, so I'm so excited. I'm literally going to use this pan later tonight to, um, to roast my chickpeas. That was really nice. Honestly, that put me in a really good mood. Nothing like a little surprise present to lift up your mood. Thank you, Five Fit Fun, for sponsoring this video. I will leave them linked down below. Don't forget to use the code TONY10 to save some money and get your box for $39.99. And these ship to the UK, the US, and Canada. Now on to the little house update. So as you guys know, I bought, I started building my house back in November. And before, I just want to preface this by saying I'm not complaining, okay? I am so grateful and so thankful that I am able to build and buy a house. Like, it still does not feel real and I know that I would absolutely not be able to be doing that without you guys. So I'm, I'm definitely so grateful. I don't want to come across like I'm complaining or I'm ungrateful. It's just like something annoying and it's also something I want to talk about because I did not even think about this before I started building a house. So in case you guys are thinking about it or are in the process of doing it. I really thought that building a house was going to be like a super easy, I was like so ignorant about the whole process. I was like, yes, I pick all this stuff and then they just hand me over the keys and I have my house. Uh, wrong, wrong. Okay, so there's two house updates I have to give you guys and neither of them are good house updates. First is not so bad, well, it's pretty bad. I don't know which one's worse, honestly. The first is not so bad. Um, it's just about when it's gonna be ready. I don't know why I went into this kind of like ignorant. I did research on building a house. Like I spoke to a lot of people. I do have family members who have built houses, but I was like, I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna pick all of the furnishings and I'm going to wait. And then they're gonna hand me over the keys to my beautiful house and that's gonna be that. That is definitely not what is happening. So they told me when I signed my contract in November of 2020 that my house was going to be ready in September, 2021. So almost a full year. So they reached out a few weeks ago and told me that my house will not be ready in September. And as of right now, they said it's going to be delayed one to two months. So that was the first update. It's a bummer because I really wanted to kind of like move in and get settled and then have Christmas in the house, which I don't even know if I'll be in there by Christmas. I posted about it on my story yesterday and a lot of you guys said that all of your houses are delayed and whenever i drive by like there's one house being worked on whereas like i feel like they should probably be working on multiple houses <laughs> like 
you know, like you have a lot of people waiting on these houses. I don't know if they just can't find workers or can't get materials. I really don't know, but I feel like they're moving like as slow as molasses. And I almost want to like put my hard hat on and go and like drip rock these walls. What's even more annoying is that they messaged me um, saying that the house was going to be more expensive. I mean, I understand completely like the price of materials went up. I completely understand. But at the same time, I'm like, what is even the point of a contract then? If you can just like move the delivery price and you can increase the cost. Like I did read the contract obviously before I signed it. And that was one thing that I had like raised up, but they were like, we increased the cost already. Don't worry, basically. And um, that was a lie. <laughs> Honestly, I just have to say like, building a house is fun obviously you get to customize it however you want it and it's like a new fresh house but going into this i definitely my expectations were different i just thought it was like a fun fast easy thing and it's definitely not i just keep reminding myself that in the end it's going to be totally worth it and like i'm i can't wait i just don't know when that date will be as of right now like i'll show you guys it's not looking like it's going to be soon so that's my little update i think now i'm going to make some dinner i'm really not that hungry but it's 7 47 and i have not eaten dinner yet so i'm going to show you guys like this little flatbread Thing that I have been loving. It is so good. It's me in a little bit of a salt coma, but that's okay. Okay, do not look at my mess. Let's pretend that everything is beautiful and perfect and clean like everyone else on YouTube. So I have my, this is actually a non bread that I almost burnt and I put hummus on it. Sometimes I put like tzatziki, I had hummus, so I put hummus. I'm trying to like actually eat the food in my fridge. I'm gonna put this on it. I don't even wanna try to butcher, I'm gonna butcher that. I'm not even gonna try to say it, but I love it. So I'm gonna put a little bit of that. Sometimes I'll put like oregano just depends on my mood and then I'm gonna put a little bit of garlic powder I love garlic so then I'm gonna put all of these vegetables on top it's kind of like a salad flatbread and the colors are so pretty I love olives so I'm going to put some olives on top and green onions and tomatoes I'm gonna to kind of just put them all on top and then I have some parsley here I have some roasted chickpeas and then I'm not gonna add salt but basically that's it I'm gonna put a little bit more seasoning on top and that is what I've been loving to eat and it is so fast and so simple and sometimes I'll even like grilled chicken sometimes I'll grilled chicken but not today today I'm lazy so I'm gonna go eat this I'm finished watching the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills and then I'm going to start editing oh my god I almost forgot my feta how how did that happen hello okay so i don't know if you guys remember but i've been on the hunt for um if you guys follow me on instagram you would see that i have been on the hunt for oof my i need to wipe down my coffee table never get a glass coffee table you guys it's so much work to keep looking clean but i've been on the hunt for good coffee table books because i just love the way they look but they are so expensive i asked you guys for advice on where to buy them you guys said like homesense or bookoutlet.ca so i went to homesense and i got these this actually had a funky color on it but i took the cover off and this is what it looked like underneath so it was perfect i got the harper's bazaar 100 years and this i've had for a while so then i placed an order on bookoutlet.ca arrived in a few days i placed it i think on wednesday of last week so i got this one i got all of these books for 150 which is really good because each is like normally i want to say 60 or 70 to 100 dollars. so this one is vogue on location you can again take off the covers some of them are really nice this one i like the blue tone so i'm going to keep it on and then i got this glamorous living one doesn't have like a nice book well it's nice but not my vibe so i'm going to leave this on they're good to stack and then i got this one vogue and the metropolitan museum of art costume institute this would probably be a very interesting book i have to go through all of them and then i got the ralph lauren book just because it's like a dark color with gold i thought it was nice i got this one it's a big black book it reminds me of the tom ford one but way more affordable and then i got the restoration house creating a home that gives life and connection to all who enter i actually wanted to read this one <laughs> <laughs> so I got it and then I got um, Supreme Models iconic black woman who revolutionized fashion I wanted to read this one if you're looking for good coffee table books that won't break your bank then check winners and check bookoutlet.ca because they were 
honestly shipping was really fast and the price was really really good okay so my goal for today is to organize all of my jewelry I kind of have jewelry all throughout my house as you guys know I have a jewelry line and <laughs> This is how my jewelry is organized because I'm always like trying new jewelry, taking stuff off, and I kind of just have it like throughout my whole house. So yeah, these are all like rings I was testing out. Um, a lot of the stuff actually never even made it to production. Um, a lot was like a test. This was like my grandfather's little pin. These are all like a lot of samples. These are all samples. We were gonna do like a whole line, but decided against it. So anyways, I bought these on Amazon. They are just a bunch. They came as a set of four and they stack. And I just thought it would be like way easier to keep everything organized. There's a necklace one. So I think that is what I'm going to do today. I'm gonna to go around my whole house, collect all the jewelry I wanna keep and make it all nice and organized. Cause right now it is a huge disaster. Okay, so it's been a few days um, since I filmed that. I am going for dinner, but I heard that windows and bathtubs were installed in my house. So I wanted to bring you guys and show you with me. Also, my hair is very dirty, so that's why it's in this like whole ponytail situation. Um, so don't mind that. But I wanted to, oh really, really, really. I don't know if someone put the evil eye on me or if I just have really bad luck because things just went from bad to worse. I'm just gonna talk about all the shit that has happened to me over the past few days. Almost two weeks ago now, I came back from Toronto and I got in my car to go to work and I had two flat tires. Not that maybe because there was a heat wave that the air just like got out of my tires. So before jumping to conclusions, I put air in my tires and then the next day they would be flat again. So I brought my car to Mercedes and they called me and there's like, they said there's two flat tires and a cracked rim. It wasn't the end of the world because I do have tire rim protection. If I had to pay $1,500 for that, which was the price it would have been if I didn't have tire rim protection, I would have like, I think I just would have said like, take this car back. Like I never want to see it again. Also because I lose like a full day because like I have to wait around for this car because they don't give you a courtesy car for a flat tire so I, I'm waiting around so Nikki said she would come with me and she would like kill time with me in the area and so we go to this restaurant called Toasties which is like the best sandwich restaurant in Montreal I don't care what anyone says it's on St. John's Boulevard it is amazing and I don't know why there's just like a swarm of wasps I've never had to deal with so many wasps they just fly into my house if I'm just walking to my car, they like chase me down and they are just vicious. If I'm sitting outside, like I've heard of restaurants in Montreal having to cl like close their terrace because there's just so many wasps. So <laughs> I evade these wasps. I'm like, perfect. We're gonna get back in the car. I'm gonna be safe. And as soon as I go to put my garbage in the bin, it feels like my hand has been electrocuted. My hand felt like it was on fire. Like right here, I have never felt pain like this in my life and I have had third degree burns all over my face and chest when I was younger. Like my skin was burnt off when I was younger and this was probably double as painful. Everyone who said I had no right to be afraid of wasps or bees or that I didn't need to be afraid of them, they were liars. So you think like that's already a terrible day, right? Like two flat tires, a cracked rim, and she gets stung by a wasp. But 
that's not where it ends, okay? That's not even the worst part of the story. <laughs> so I go back to pick up my car and I they, they hand me the keys. I have to wait like an extra hour and a half. They hand me my keys. I go inside to my car and my bumper is just gone. Like the bottom part of my bumper is just missing. I right back inside and I was like, um, I'm sorry, but my bumper is missing. And he was like, that's impossible. I was like, can we go check the car wash to see if my bumper is in this car wash? And he was like, it's probably not going to be there. We didn't touch your bumper, but let's go and see. And I walk into the car wash and it's just sitting on the floor at the car wash. And so he was like, oh, I'm going to have to talk to my manager to see what to do, see what to do about this. Then I get home from all of that with my throbbing hand and my bumperless car and I get an email and the email says that my house is going to be um I'll just tell you the amount it's going to be $31,000 more um for the cost of materials which is like a bummer obviously and they said it's going to be ready in January 2022. On days like that, you just like literally can't help but laugh. And then on a Tuesday, I was going for dinner with my friends because the vaccine passport takes um, started yesterday, so they can't go into restaurants. Some of my friends are vaccinated, and I am walking <laughs> to the restaurant, and I shit you not, my heel gets caught in the grates. Like I don't know why some restaurants have like grates on the floor. Walking into the thing, there's a whole line of a lineup of people and walking into the um, restaurant and my heel plop right into the little grates in the front of the restaurant. I guess I think it's for snow or I don't know what it is, but my heel gets stuck there and I am just stuck there and there's people like trying to get in and there's a whole line and I'm my heel is stuck in the grate and so I bend down I rip it out and my heel is ruined <laughs> when shitty things happen I let myself say like oh that's really shitty but then I don't really like let myself be sad about it for too long because I like I just know that things could be way worse I'm not gonna sit here and cry that my house is only going to be ready in January when there's people in Afghanistan who don't have a home and are fleeing their country. And it's just like so sad. I think also that a lot of that and reading about all of that and seeing the pictures just really affects me mentally. Um, I can only imagine what they're going through. So when shit like this happens and when I get stung by a bee and when my bumper comes off in a car wash, I just have to remind myself that I am so lucky and so fortunate that this is my life and that, yes, I can be upset about it for a second, but that's about it, okay? <laughs> and there's still so many amazing things going on and I'm, I'm so fortunate. So, we're pulling up to my house now. I will see you guys inside. Okay, so I'm in my driveway. They cleaned out my garage, which is nice. Um, here is the mudroom. You guys have seen this before. They did put like the door in, which is really nice. And then, ooh, okay. So they put in, put that window in and they put these two windows in. They covered this and then they put the back door. They also put in plumbing. So if I come in here, this is a, my downstairs powder room. So there's the toilet, the sink, and then this is for my washer here. So the plumber was here. I'm sorry it's dark, you guys. And then I'm most excited to see the upstairs. Here we have a bathtub. This is the spare bathroom bathtub. And then here we have the spare bathroom shower, which you guys can see. I just turned my light on. And then oh, we have that window. You guys know this is gonna be my filming room, my closet. And then in here, they put in the plumbing for, this is the shower. And this is where the bathtub is gonna be. And then that's where the sink is gonna be. And I think that's pretty much it. They didn't get around to putting in um, this window yet, so they just taped it up. Not sure why. 
but that's really cool. This lighting in here is not good at all, but it's crazy to think that in a few months, no one knows when, but in a few months, <laughs> this is going to be a real home and I'm going to be living in it. So I just wanted to end this vlog on a little bit of a happier note. I hope you guys are having an amazing day or an amazing night whenever you watch this. Um, don't forget to subscribe for new videos every single week. Don't forget to check out Fat Fit Fun down below and I will see you guys back here next time.